How do beautiful people locked inside with nothing to do? Well, here I am with the delightful Dorian lick in E. We're going to be doing a three note per string pattern with some cheeky flat fives and extra major sixes in there. Let's take a look at the lick. Okay, so I wanted to jump down a bit of a theory rabbit hole before we get into the lick. So what I'm essentially doing is I'm playing an E minor pentatonic with a Dorian feel, and I'm also including the flat five. So if we're thinking about where E is, I'm gonna be starting from the B flat, which is actually the flat five. So I'm gonna be going, that set of notes is actually playing B flat, B, D, which is actually playing flat five, natural fifth, and then the minor or the dominant seventh from the D. Then I'm going tonic here, E to G. Just going root minor third. And then I'm returning to the major six. And then I'm ending on an A, which would be the fourth. So it's going root minor third fourth. So it's nearly following that one, three, four, five, seven with the minor feel, but I'm also adding in the flat five and the, uh, the major six for a Dorian feel. So all up, it's not really a pentatonic, it's a seven note scale now but we can think of that as a cheeky extra Dorian note and the flat five. So if we have a look at this one more time, flat five, fifth, dominant seven, root, minor third, major six, root, minor third, and then the fourth. So it's just a little bit of theory behind what we're doing. Let's actually go through the frets and slow that idea down. I'm playing five, six, 10, sorry, Six, seven, ten on the sixth string. Then I'm going to play seven, ten on the fifth string and jump up to nine of the, the sixth string. So all together. Then I do a very similar idea uh, jumping up to the next group. Let's slow that down. I'm playing seven, ten, twelve on the fifth string. And I'm playing eight, nine on the fourth, jumping to ten of the fifth. So we should have two groups of six. Hopefully that's all making sense. Then we're gonna take that whole concept up an octave. So now I'm gonna start from the B flat on the fourth string and I'm gonna play eight, nine, 12. Then from that point, I'll play nine, 12 on the third, jumping to 11, which is that major sixth note, which is the C sharp on the fourth string. Then what we had before, let's slow that down. I'm playing nine, 12, 14 on the third, and then 11, 12 on the second, jumping to 12 of the third. And from this point, what I'm playing here is 11, 12 to 15 on the second string. And then I'm playing 12, 15 on the first, jumping to 14 of the second. And that's kind of the, uh, the big build up before it starts to descend. So let's have a look at that whole idea nice and slow. Okay, then from that point, I'm gonna have two leading notes. Playing 12, 15 on the first string, and then I work into this phrase. This is kind of working in two groups of four. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing 17, 15, 12 as a pull off. Jumping to 14 of the second string, highlighting once again, that C sharp Dorian kind of note. Well, the C sharp note of the E Dorian note is what I meant to say. So that's the major six there. There he is, that's the Dorian he's sounding guy. Then from that point, I'm gonna do a pull off and then two picks here. So I'm gonna pull off from 15 to 12 on the first string and then pick those last two notes. So there's a decent amount of legato except for the last two notes in each group of sort of eight or two groups of four. Pick, pick, pull off, string change, pull off, pick, pick. We're gonna carry that premise across all six strings. So now when I get to the second string, I'm gonna pull off, once again, highlighting that major six there. I'm playing 17, 14, 12 on the second, then 14 of the third string, and then I'm gonna play 14, 12 on the second string as a pull off, and then pick, pick, 14, 12 on the third string. Back to back. Then from that point, from the third string, I'm playing 16, 14, 12. 
14 of the four. And then I want to play 14, 12 on the third, and then 14, 11. You better believe that's that cheeky C sharp again. And that's sort of the next chunk. Let's have a look at those three chunks back to back. Okay, this next one's kind of stupid because I've almost got a diminished idea here. I've got three tone or two tones, two and a half, two tone and a half uh, stretches here. So I'm playing 17, 14, 12. Then I'm jumping to, what have I got there? 14 of the fifth string. From that point, I'm doing a pull off 14, 11 on the fourth and then 14, 12 on the fifth. From that point, got a tiny bit left. I'm gonna be playing 16, 14, 12 on the fifth string. Jumping to 15 of the sixth. Then I'm pulling off 14, 12 on the fifth string. And then plucking, what have I got there? 15, 12 on the sixth string, which was this. What I wanna do now is put together that whole ascending lick and, uh, sorry, the descending lick, and then we'll join that to the beginning, and then we'll play it all together and then do it again even slower with some tabs. So let's try the descending concept again. Let's put that ascending concept in front of it and then do it again even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the lick. If you want tabs to this lesson and anything else that I do, please click the links to join up with the Patreon. You can get tabs and extra content. You guys are gonna be needing that while you're very, very bored during these savagely locked down times. Also have three books out now if you wanna check them out. Ultimate Shred Machine if you wanna up your chops in shredding, sweeping, legato and tapping. Rock Guitar Mode Mastery if you wanna up your understanding of modes in a composed and improvised setting. And of course, my most recent book, Shred Guitar Improvisation. If you want to up your understanding of how to solo over chord changes and do different sequencing, all of that kind of thing, all three of those books are available in one definitive volume as well. And if you're not much of a reader, I can uh, provide all of those in a video course format as well if you're not into those book kind of things. Anyway, alas, hope you guys enjoy the lesson. I am very, very uh, sorry that everyone is going through tough times at the moment with this lockdown, but try and stay positive. Always lean on your music when you're feeling a little bit sad and hopefully that can lift your spirits. Uh, anyway, take care, be kind to each other and I'll see you very soon.